Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. If you're following this series, I'm documenting the process of converting a first-generation native ultimate to a fishing kayak for myself and my kids. You can click the link above to catch part one on repairing oyster rash and removing rust from years in the saltwater. Part two is going to focus on upgrading the factory flush mount rod holders to Scotty rocket launchers like you see on my commander here. This is a great upgrade for kids because kids need action when they're on the water. The rocket launchers allow you to troll while paddling to a new spot. My last two trips out were saved by some white bass biting while trolling so my daughter could reel one in. So these are the flush mount holders we're going to replace. And we want to take a 10 millimeter wrench and we want to remove the backing nuts holding the flush mount rod holders in place. These can rust out, so just back them out with a pair of pliers if they break off, and then you can pull the flush mount holder out. The new Scotty rocket launchers are actually going to be able to support multiple angles, which allow you to troll and, and also just stow your rods. So I'm going to replace the flush mounts with these Scotty 344 dex mounts. They're sturdy and they cover the entire hole made by the flush mount, but we need to create a backing plate to firm them up. So this is a poly cutting board that I'm cutting the center hole out with a one and three eighths inch hole saw. And once you cut that out, you want to test fit the 344 and then draw a line around the perimeter. So using the jigsaw with a PVC blade, you can cut out the perimeter of the backing plate. It doesn't have to be perfect, but once you get it cut out, take the deck mount and insert the backing plate, and then we're going to pre-drill the holes. So take a 3 16 inch bit and pre-drill each hole on the base, but take a 3 16 inch rivet and insert it to hold the bracket in place so it doesn't shift. And you want to be sure to drill straight down. So with the backing plate drilled, place the deck mount into the existing hole and match up the holes on the outboard side. The hole pattern will only match on one side, so we will have to drill new holes in the kayak on the inboard side. But place two rivets to hold the position and drill the inboard side with a 3 16 inch bit. So now you can add the backing plate and insert the rivets. Push up on the backing plate as you rivet it in place. This is an easy install method and it'll be plenty sturdy with the backing plate and the wide base. So I had one rivet mandrel break off. So I just cut it off and filed it down flush. So check for the fit and repeat on the other side. And you now have two sturdy rod holders with multiple angle adjustments. And these are perfect for trolling to keep the action going with the kids. So if you've never used the rocket launchers, they insert and then they can spin freely and then locked in place by pushing down. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy it and hope you get out on the water with your kids.